This is a Fox News alert. Police and emergency units responding to a church in Fort Worth, Texas, where multiple people have reportedly been shot. Christina Coleman following this developing story as we're getting new information. Christina. Right, well, this is a very active situation right now happening at West Freeway Church of Christ in Fort Worth, Texas. Our local affiliate KDFW in Dallas, Fort Worth, reporting that one person has been shot and killed. Two others are in critical condition at this very hour after a shooting there. Multiple reports out of the area saying the shooter has died after he was engaged by an armed security officer at the church. It's unclear whether church was in service at the time, but we learned that the church had a Bible study and a worship service scheduled for this morning. Now, this is a very, very fluid situation right now. Again, unknown how many people were in the building, how far the suspect got into the church, or how many shots he actually got off before he was stopped. We're checking in with law enforcement right now. My producer's telling me we have a lot of information coming in right now. Again, this is a, a very active situation, and there is a heavy police presence at this church right now. Again, three victims, at least three victims at this time, including at least one fatality. We are interrupting CBS Sunday morning to bring you breaking news out of White Settlement, Texas. Moments ago, officials gave an update on a deadly shooting at a church. Let's listen. In the city of White Settlement, Fort Worth Fire and Fort Worth PD were called for assistance. So that's why we're here assisting them with this incident this time. At 9.57 this morning, White Settlement Police Department received a phone call for gunshots, uh, specifically uh, a patient with gunshot wounds. Uh, here on at the West Freeway Church of Christ, when White Settlement PD and Fort Worth Fire Department and White Settlement PD and White Settlement Fire Department arrived on scene, they did find a total of three patients that have been transported in critical condition. That does include what they believe is the shooter. So that's a total of three in critical condition that have been transported, including what they believe at this time is the shooter. I don't have a lot of details as far as where exactly the incident occurred, if it was inside the building or outside the building. Those are still unfolding. Uh, we'll continue to assist White Settlement with whatever they need. Uh, a very tragic day when anybody in our community suffers, whether it's a, a community that's, that's next to Fort Worth or in Fort Worth itself. Uh, our hearts and prayers go out to all the families that were affected by this incident. Uh, We'll continue to pray for them and continue to do everything we can for them. At this time, everything is still very much in the beginning stages of this investigation. Uh, as we continue to work through it, we'll update you guys with what information we can give you. I, I, I do not have any of that information at this time. The, the, the information I've got is about those patients. Uh, as far as the shooter, uh, the motive, and, and everything like that, we don't have that at this time. Do you know if this happened in the sanctuary or where at inside the uh, Again, uh, I, I do not know if it was inside or outside at this point. Do I do. They were uh, I believe they were transported to JPS, uh, which is downtown Fort Worth. And all three are in critical condition? They were all transported in critical condition, yes. Are the two victims church members who were in service? Again, this is all very beginning stages of this. Uh, we'll continue to work with White Settlement, Fort Worth, the Tarrant County Sheriff's Office to, to work on that information for you. Do we know if ATF will be handling any of the further? I, I, do, I do not know that information. So we, we had heard two people dead, though, so you can't confirm anything? I, I cannot confirm fatalities at this time, no. How terrible tragedy this is just right Uh, it, beginning of the year, end of the year, holiday, it, it's all very tragic. Uh, Any time that we suffer loss in our community, uh, it, it's, it not only affects the people that were here today, but it affects the first responders as well. Uh, all of our first responders carry these things with them for a long time. And uh, we'll continue to, to assist the community here, and we'll continue to assist the firefighters and first responders and police officers that were here today. I'm not aware of exactly what the time frame was uh, or where the shooting has, has occurred yet. Uh, you said around 9.55 you got the call? 
957 is when the first dispatch for White Settlement PD was received. They are, they are actively talking to people that were here at the time of the shooting, yes. Do you know how many people were in the sanctuary? I, I don't. I don't. Um, I, I'm going to go back. I'm going to work with White Settlement. This is a, this is obviously something that we don't do a lot when we uh, are here uh, assisting another agency for the public information aspect. They're obviously very involved in this incident right now. I wanted to make sure I could get you guys some, some details as quick as I could. I apologize that there's not a lot, but that is what I can 100% tell you right now. Can you tell us, I did see police dogs on the scene about 15 minutes ago. Is there still a possible danger on the scene? So I can tell you those are actually Fort Worth Fire Department bomb uh, dogs, our explosive ordinance dogs. Uh, that is a precaution. We, we do not believe that there is a threat but we are gonna do everything we can to make sure that 100% everything is safe. Are you saying that you're keeping the congregate, congregates in, housed in place right now so no one's allowed to leave or everyone is still in the sanctuary? Fort Worth PD, Fort Worth PD and White Settlement PD are, are actively talking to them about what happened, what they saw, getting witness statements. All right, I, as soon as I can get something, I'll, I'll try to get back to you guys. Um, I'll send it out on our Twitter, so Fort Worth Fire Department Twitter, I'll let you know exactly what time, and uh, I will try to get them to get a written statement out as soon as we can too. All right, thank you.